Jodie Wilshire's violent murder just days before Christmas was described in court as a cold-blooded public execution, a pre-planned act of revenge. Jodie was stabbed to death at work at this Aldi supermarket in Skipton, North Yorkshire. Staff and customers tried to save her and subdued her attacker until police arrived. She was killed by Neville Horde, her mum's ex-boyfriend. With a twisted grudge, he blamed Jodie for the breakup. The court heard he put a tracker on her car and spent two weeks planning the murder. When Neville Horde first came here that day, he went into the supermarket armed with a knife, but came back out again to get an axe as well from his car. Then he went to the McDonald's next door for a cup of coffee before returning to the supermarket to look for Jodie. He told police that when she saw him, she smiled at him just before he attacked her. Later, police found he also had a crossbow in his car boot and had been researching buying a gun. Jody's husband says life for him and their four-year-old daughter has been ripped apart and that after the killing she told him she hated him because he couldn't make mummy come home. Hundreds attended the funeral earlier this year. During the service, Jody and her daughter were described as best friends with an unbreakable bond. Today, Jody's uncle spoke for the family. Our beautiful girl has gone to heaven without mercy or hesitation. Her precious life taken in a planned and determined act, attack to murder her. Our complete and utter loss has destroyed us all. We will never come to terms with her death and our hearts will never heal from the sadness we feel. This is how Neville Horde looked when he was arrested. Jailing him for life today, the judge said, you are a monster, truly and horribly rotten to the core.